Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to do another type of problem. Again, it's the number of different mixtures that we can form. Again, we're looking for the number of combinations, but it's a little different here. So here we have a, uh, a sample space. We have four different kinds of nuts. We have uh, peanuts, hazelnuts, almonds, and cashews, so four different kinds. And we want to know how many different types of nut mixtures we can make from those four types of nuts. So that means we can make a mixture with all four, we can make a mixture of three of the four, we can make a mixture of two of the four, and of course we can make a mixture of just one of the nuts. I don't know if that would then technically still be called a mixture, but just let's, for the sake of doing the problem, let's just assume that's another choice. So what that means is we can find the number of combinations when we use all four of the uh, nuts. So the combination where we get four different nuts and we need to take all four, that would be equal to uh, 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 4 factorial times um, 4 factorial and so of course 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial that would be 1 and 0 factorial by definition is 1 so this is equal to just 1 if you take all four types of nuts you can only make one mixture which is the mixture of all four of them so that makes sense what if we just take three of the four? So for example, we could take these three, we could take those three. We could, how many different combinations are there? Well, we find for the combinations of four and we just, you have four different kinds of nuts. You just want to take three at a time. That is equal to four factorial divided by four minus three factorial times three factorial. And of course, four factorial divided by three factorial is simply four. 4 minus 1 factorial, that's simply 1. In other words, there are four different ways in which you can grab three of the four nuts and make a mixture out of them. Okay, what if, what if you just take two at a time? So we have the number of combinations. We have four nuts. We just want to take two at a time. That's equal to 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So this would be equal to 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial is 4 times 3 divided by 2 factorial, which is equal to 2. And so that cancels out, that becomes 2 times 3, which is 6. There are 6 different combinations. And finally, how many combinations are there when you have 4 nuts to choose from, but you only want to take 1 nut at a time? So in this case, this is 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. So 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 1 factorial. And 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial is simply 4 divided by 1, which is 4. So the total number of combinations, so the number of combinations total is equal to C44 plus C43 plus C42 plus C41, which is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4, which is equal to, let's see, did I get that right? That's 8, 14. That's equal to 15. All right. But we can actually do this in a more general case because we can have all kinds of things like that. For example, how many combinations or how many nuts, nut mixtures can you make with five different kinds of nuts or six different kinds of nuts? So in general, what it comes down to is that the total number of combinations is equal to, starting out from right here, we can say this is equal to C times N1 plus C times N2 plus C times N3 plus and keep adding it like this until we get to the final one, which is C times N, N, like that. And by the way, this mathematically is equal to 2 to the N power minus 1. So there's the equation. If you want to do this in general, like this, and you have N number of different kinds of nuts, and you want to see how many different kind of combinations you can make, how many combinations of mixtures, it would be 2 to the N power minus 1. So let's try that out in this case. So here we have n four different kinds of nuts. So that means that c total is equal to 2 to the fourth power minus 1. 2 to the fourth power is 16 minus 1, which is equal to 15. And that's the exact same result that we got over here, doing it the long way. So you can see that this equation does work. n is the number of different kinds of nuts to choose from. And the number of mixtures is simply 2 to the n power minus 1. And that's how we do that.